I'm back at it again with another video because God is dope. God is dope. Um, but today is not going to be a very long video. I'm just going to talk about my weight loss. I have an update for you guys. I haven't really talked about it in a while, but I'm back and I'm here to talk about it today. So losing, I finally reached my hundred pound mark. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I finally lost a hundred and four pounds. Um, I gained the four pounds back, but I lost a hundred pounds. And today I'm just going to be talking about what I did and what now works for me and how I kept this weight off. It's been a year and I've kept the weight off and I've still been losing, but I'm a little comfortable at where I am now. So when I first started my weight loss journey, I weighed 264 pounds. Now I am two, I fluctuate between two, no, fluctuate between 160 to 165 pounds. But I have accomplished my goal of losing 100 pounds. People ask me all the time, how did you do it? Did you go on a diet? Did you do this? Did you work out? Honestly, and this may not be what you want to hear right now, but it is a lifestyle change. But with a twist, you can still kind of eat what you want to eat. Let me give you an example. So now, what I really did was I changed what I ate. So let me tell you a little bit of backstory. When I first started my weight loss journey, I thought I had to do all these diets in order for the weight loss to come off. In order for me to lose weight, I have to do keto. I have to be in a caloric deficit. I have to do the Chinese diet. I have to only, I know y'all seen the ones where you eat like a bread and an apple and you drink green tea, then you drink some coffee, then you drink another bread and you eat an apple. I had to do that. I thought I had to be a vegan. I thought I had to be vegetarian. I thought I, I did all these diets that you can think of. And they all got me to the same exact position. I would lose the weight, get off the diet, and I'll gain all the weight back. Within a couple of days, I was extremely down and extremely depressed. So then, um, I, in order to get back on track, I did a cleanse. Meaning, all I did was cut out all fast foods. No fast foods at all. That was my type of cleanse because, as you all know, I have a very sweet tooth. I love sweets. I love fast. I love food, period. Period. I love food. So, what I did was I just cut out the fast foods. And then everything I ate was homemade. That was my cleanse. And that's honestly what I still do to this day to lose the weight. But now what I do to make, to help me, I guess, to continue to lose the weight and to keep the weight off is throughout Monday through Friday, I eat just meals that I cook or I have a meal company, a company that I will link below. It is a very good company. They're only based in Maryland. Um, I really recommend it for anybody who's trying to lose weight or just, you don't, you don't have enough time to cook. So they will cook your meals for you. But, um, Monday through Friday, I would eat all clean meals, meaning I ate a balanced diet. Diet. What was in my meals? Everything I wanted. I would, and then on the weekend, I would then cheat. I would have a cheat day. Now, if you're still really trying to lose weight, I only would recommend a cheat meal, not a whole day. But I would go somewhere that I love the food and I would replicate that menu and make it into something that is healthy for me. For example, I love bonefish grill. I love the salmon, the Atlantic salmon with the, um, I love the bang bang shrimp and I love the mashed potatoes and then I get a sauce on the salmon it's like lime or something I can't remember what it's called but it's really good and so what I did was I got the ingredients offline there's a website you can look to jack restaurant recipes and I replicated it in a healthier way the meal itself wasn't a lot of calories, but I lessened it. Instead of frying the fish in oil and all this stuff, you can bake it. You can grill it. Instead of the mashed potatoes with cheese or with the extra stuff they put in it, you just make regular whipped mashed potatoes and you add some flavoring in it to make it taste good. Another, and the bang bang shrimp, same thing. You just put a little bit of the less ingredients, you know what I'm saying, to make it healthy. Another example of a restaurant that I really, really like and this is not really a restaurant, it's like a fast food. Um, I have three. One, Chipotle. Chipotle is actually very healthy for you. You can make healthy decisions at Chipotle. So there was really no need for me to replicate it. If I really wanted fast food, I would buy Chipotle, but I would get a chicken salad opposed to a rice bowl with rice and cheese and sour cream. It would just be the, the salad, the chicken, the pinto de gallo, pinto de gallo and corn and a tiny little bit of cheese and that's it that's my chicken salad that was good it's not a lot of calories and chipotle actually has a way that you can track your meals and your calorie and your nutrients intake on their website it's a calorie calculator i will also link that below 
that's one so i didn't really have to replicate that i could do it but on the weekend when i can cheat on that saturday i'll go get me a rice bowl with some rice chicken cheese sour cream hot sauce all of that side of chips and guac put it all on the tab and then the second one would be uh chick-fil-a i love me some chick-fil-a now there's a TikTok as to how to replicate their chicken nuggets you can do it now you just have to eliminate the chick-fil-a sauce i'm sorry y'all if it's a must you gotta do some ketchup or some hot sauce and that is it and then the third one it's so bad for you it's taco bell i love taco bell so that's how i gained out my weight the first time so what i did was i would pick something off the menu and replicate it just in a healthier way so instead of the tortilla wrap i would get a fit and active wrap from aldi's each wrap is only like 90 calories with fiber and flax seeds in it i would then take that and then create get my ground instead of ground beef i'll get ground turkey put the, the the taco seasoning in it mix that up put that on there and then i would get some low-fat cheese put that on there get some lettuce put that you know the, the tomatoes all of that instead of eating a burrito that's like 800 calories you're eating one that's only 350 and it tastes the same now i hope you know how to cook because you won't have to season that john but yeah so it's it's a great decision um i think it's easy for me to do that and then if i don't replicate something that i cheat with that week i would then cook my meals my meals consist of protein carb and vegetable type of meal for example i love salmon i love seafood almost every one of my meals during the week has salmon and i would get a six pound salmon from the store all these or costco it was only like 19 bucks for the whole salmon that john is big take that bake it put in the oven and then um i will bake potatoes so i get the mini potatoes so five of those mini potatoes are only like 60 calories cut them up dice them put them in the oven and then i will get some type of vegetable asparagus uh love bell peppers bell peppers broccoli all that season it up same thing bake it throw it all in the oven you have to do it at different temperatures but the things that can bake together i'll put them all together and then that'll be a meal option i'll also take chicken breasts do the same thing um and then sometimes i incorporate rice but the thing with rice is you have to be careful because usually you have to eat rice with something that has flavor so a lot of people go wrong and they eat rice and they make like fried rice and fried rice isn't always bad but you have to know your portions now if you're somebody who has to count your calories you can count them but i don't when i was really trying to lose weight i would eye my calories because you will go crazy with trying to ensure that you're reaching the correct calorie count when i was really trying to lose the weight heavy i was consuming maybe 1500 so 1500 calories to 2000 calories a day depending on if i worked out or not if i did not work out i was staying within a little bit time and then if i did work out i know i can go up to a 2000 and i'll be fine now my workouts are also extreme y'all know I, your girl lift heavy so take that how you want <laughs> so that is really how i lost the weight when it came to working out please check out my instagram it's rem underscore lequin that's r-e-m underscore l-e-k-u-n i do a lot of strength training workouts you can lose weight by doing cardio but you want to avoid that loose skin women cannot get extremely bulky like men so please pick those weights up my girls like you can lift it is okay my workout was i work out five days a week sometimes six and the sixth day i would only stretch one day will be legs i love doing legs second day will be chest third day will be uh back fourth day would be arms and fifth day will be core and cardio throughout those five days i still do cardio every single one of those days but the days where i lift i only do 10 to 15 minutes of cardio intense whether it's a hip routine or the stair master and then once i'm done that i go do my weights on cardio and core days i did cardio for about 30 35 minutes and then i do core for like 15 and then usually on my cardio days that is a day that i either cheat or the day before i cheat so cardio days usually like either a friday or a monday depending on how i feel and over the weekend my sixth day will be just stretching or walking or dancing something very low intensity because i have to keep moving guys so that is how i lost 100 pounds i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please feel free to ask them below and i have a surprise for y'all coming up soon thank you